Good day everyone! For today's session, we will be learning on how to solve problems involving parallelograms, trapezoids, and kites. But before that, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for some updates. Once again, good day. Let's have a quick review of what we have learned in our previous lesson. For you to remember, all you have to do is you are going to determine if each statement is true or false. Number one, a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. What do you think is the correct answer? If your answer is true, you're absolutely correct. How about number two? A quadrilateral is a parallelogram if both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. If your answer is true again, you are correct. How about number three? A quadrilateral is a parallelogram if both pairs of opposite angles are congruent. If your answer is true, you are correct. How about number four? A quadrilateral is a parallelogram if any two consecutive angles are complementary. If your answer is false, you are correct. And the last one, a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if exactly pair of adjacent sides is perpendicular. If your answer is false, you are correct. And now let's elaborate some example. Let us use again a quadrilateral SAME. Okay, so as I've mentioned, quadrilateral SAME is a parallelogram. So if the measure angle E is equal to 115 and uh, the length of segment SA is equal to 10 centimeter and the length of uh, segment ES is equal to 8 centimeter. Let us try to find the measure of the remaining angles and the length of uh, segment MA and segment EM. Alright, so here are the solutions. Alright, so as we can notice here, the measure angle E is equal to the measure angle A. This is because opposite angles are congruent. Since uh, measure angle E is equal to 115, so therefore, measure angle A is equal to 115 also. Alright? For us to get the remaining uh, two angles or the value of the measure of the two remaining angles, since two consecutive angles are supplementary, so therefore, measure angle S plus measure angle E is equal to 180 degrees. Alright, so as we can see here, we already have the value of the measure angle E. All we have to do is you are going to substitute in our given equation. So we have measure angle S plus uh, 115 is equal to 180. Let us use now the addition property of equality. Okay. So we have measure angle S is equal to 180 minus 115. So therefore, measure angle S is equal to 65 and the measure angle M is equal to 65. This is because, as I've said, opposite angles are congruent. Alright, so how about the lengths of segment MA and segment EM? So if we have F, uh, SA is equal to 10 cm, then segment EM is equal to 10 cm. If segment ES is equal to 8 cm, then segment MA is equal to 8 cm. This is because opposite sides of parallelogram are always congruent. 
right now, let me give you another example. So we have example number one. So we have here parallelogram A, B, C, D. Alright. So for what value of X is quadrilateral A, B, C, D a parallelogram? Now, uh, it is important to note that opposite sides of a parallelogram must be congruent. So thus, BC is equal to AD. Alright, so we have like this one. So BC is equal to AD. Now, next, we have to substitute the value of BC, which is equal to 4x minus 10, and the value of AD, which is equal to 3x plus 5. So we have this equation. So 4x minus 10 is equal to 3x plus 5. Apply now the addition and subtraction property of equality. So we have 4x minus 3x is equal to 5 plus 10. 4x minus 3x is x. Then 5 plus 10 is equal to 15. So the value of x is equal to 15. Let's have another example. Okay, so now this figure is an example of a trapezoid. So we have a trapezoid FORM. And so the measure angle F is equal to 5x plus 15. The measure angle O is equal to 2x plus 6. Measure angle R is 4y and the measure angle m is equal to 2x minus 10. Alright, so quadrilateral FORM is a trapezoid with bases MR and FO. Now, uh, find the value of x, B, find the value of y, then find the, va the measure of each angle of the trapezoid. First step, okay, for us to get the value of x, since each lower base angle of a trapezoid is supplementary to upper base angle on the same side, then measure angle M plus measure angle F is equal to 180 degrees. Right, so then substitute now the measure angle M is equal to 2x minus 10 plus the measure angle F, which is equal to 5x plus 15. Alright, so after this, combine like terms, 2x plus 5x is equal to 7x, then negative 10 plus 15, that is positive 5, is equal to 180. Okay, apply now the addition and subtraction property of equality. So we have 7x is equal to 180 minus 5. Okay, so 7x is equal to 180 minus 5 is 175. For us to get the value of x, divide both sides of the equation by 7. Okay, so we have x is equal to 25. That is the value of x. Okay, so for letter B, Find the value of y. Alright, so using the same properties used in letter A, the measure angle R plus the measure angle O, okay, is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so since uh, yung R natin is 4y at ang uh, angle O naman natin is 2x plus 6. Okay, so we have 2x plus 6 plus 4y is equal to 180. Now, in this case, since we already have the value of x, all you have to do is to substitute here in our uh, next equation. So, 2 times 25. Okay, 2 times 25 plus 6 plus 4y is equal to 180 degrees. So, 2 times 25 is... 50 plus 6 is 56 plus 4y is equal to 180 degrees. Apply now the addition and subtraction property of equality. So we have 4y is equal to 180 minus 56. That is 124. For you to get the value of y, divide both sides by 4. Okay, so we have y is equal to 
31. Alright. Now, since we already have the value of x and y, so we can easily solve the measure of each angle of the trapezoid. Let us uh, solve first the measure angle F. Okay, so since the measure angle F is 5x plus 15, substitute now the value of x, which is equal to 25. So 5 plus 25 is 125 plus 15. So the measure angle F is equal to 140. All right. So how about uh, measure angle O? Measure angle O is 2x plus 6. Then 2 times 25 is 50 plus 6. So measure angle O is 56. Okay. So how about R? So uh, measure angle R is 4y. Since the value of y is 31, so 31 times 4 is equal to 124. Okay, how about angle M? So, angle M is 2x minus 10. So, 2 times 25 is 50. Alright, so for our example number 3, so we have this. Uh, the figure above shows an isosceles trapezoid ABCD with AB is parallel to DC and AD is congruent to BC. If AD is equal to 4x and BC is equal to 3x plus 5, what is the value of x and what is the length of BC? Alright, so since AD is congruent to BC, so we have this, AD is equal to BC. Since AD is 4x and BC is 3x plus y, so the equation goes like this. 4x is equal to 3x plus 5. Then, combine like terms, we have 4x minus 3x is equal to 5. 4x minus 3x, that is x. So, x is equal to 5. Alright. So, for you to get the value of, or the length of segment BC, so we have uh, segment BC is equal to 3x plus 5. You simply substitute the value of x, which is 3 times 5 plus 5. Then 3 times 5 is 15 plus 5, that is 20. So therefore, the length of uh, segment BC. For our final example, example number 4, let us consider uh, height ABCD on the left. Okay, if AC is equal to 8, what is BC? If AD is equal to 15, what is DB? What is the area of C, uh, CD is equal to 13 and AD is equal to 7? Okay, so since AC is congruent to BC and the length of AC is equal to 8, so therefore... BC is equal to A. How about letter B? Since AD is congruent to BD and the length of AD is 15, so therefore, DD is equal to 15. For you to get the area of the kite, ABCD is equal to 1 half of CD times one half of AB. Okay, so substitute the value of CD, which is 13, and AB is 7. So one half times 13 times 7, that is 91 over 2. Or the area of the kite ABCD is equal to 45.5. That's all, and thank you for listening.